And here we are, we're back again. There's another new firmware. This is the Segway 9Bot Max G2. Front and rear suspension, double shock suspension. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the firmware and speed hacks and stuff like that. So today is the 3rd of January, 2024. And uh, yeah, I wanna just talk a little bit about firmwares. So if you're planning, planning, planning yeah anyway if you're planning on um doing a speed hack on this scooter i would definitely recommend when you purchase it do not do any firmware updates as it stands at the minute we have 16 miles an hour on this scooter it's not a global it's uk now i'm from the uk so because of that we can only do 16 miles an hour now there is a new firmware today and i will show you that but as well as that i also want to show you a little something else so I'm going to be using an iPhone and as well as that, an Android as well. So here we have an Android. Now the BLE scanner works, the Xiaomi works, the Xiaomi Flash works. But it works for the Xiaomi scooters and it does work on this 9Bot Max G2. But the only problem is um, if you do the firmware, if you get it out the box like I did an unboxing video... And as soon as we did the unboxing video, <clears throat> we're gonna press the scooter. There we go. As soon as I did the firmware, I'm not able to do a speed hack. So yeah, if you wanna do a speed hack, do not update the firmware. Anything from 1.4.8, anything, if you've got that version or below, you will be able to get 22 miles an hour on this scooter. Now, if you've got above, you will only be able to get 16 miles an hour. Now, if we come over here to basic um, on this app, you can change your serial number, which 01 being at the end is normally the way to do it. But unfortunately, I changed it to 01 and it will not change the firmware. So, and as you can see, they're only available in um, global regions. It says there, then look, unlock higher speed mode. Oh, we're a little bit out of focus. There we go. It's not a, a allowing me to apply that one. And the same goes as cruise control. It no longer has cruise control. Now indicator and the acceleration. Let's press that and then, okay, this is mode two. Um, normally it doesn't let me do that. I don't know why now it's doing it, but we'll see. So if we click on change region, it tells you to save it. No, you can type in a custom serial, which is what I did with just typing 01 at the end. Now, if we change it to global and we press OK, you hear the scooter beeping away there. Now, sometimes you get an advert. There you go. There's an advert. Let's close that. OK, there you go. You can obviously support the people who done the app. So technically, that's it now. Now, I should technically be able to um, do a speed hack. Well, done the speed hack. But I'm going to quickly show you now if we... Just spin the back wheel real quick and hit the throttle. As you can see, we're only doing 16 miles an hour. Now, if I hold the indicator and the throttle for two seconds, that should enable cruise control. Now, if I let go and let go of the throttle, it doesn't. So cruise control, again, on the old firmwares allow you to use it, but on the new firmwares, it does not. Now I'm gonna show you a little something else real quick now on the iPhone. Now on the iPhone, you can get a thing called Blue Tools and it's free to download. And this is it right here. It's free to download this and you can download that on the app store for completely free. Select your scooter and away you go. Now I'm still connected onto my other one here on the Android. so. I'm gonna quickly click disconnect. There we go. All right, and then make sure you have your Bluetooth turned on on your mobile, otherwise, of course, it will not work. So there you go. You can see up there in the top right-hand corner, it's searching. But there it is. If I select that, and then we scroll down, and we hit this one just here, we can uh, go on to hex, and we can actually change it and put 01 at the end. Now, if we select right, 
as you can see there, it's got three one. So if I delete that and then put O one, press done, and then we were gonna write that, which is not letting me do. Now, sometimes it does let me do it. Sometimes it doesn't let me do it. In this case today, it's not allowing me to do it. But again, it doesn't really matter even if it does or if it doesn't, as you can see there, I've done it before where it says 01 and we can select all of those as favorites. Okay, so we've done that. And then as you can see there, it says 01. So if we come off of that, go back, and then we disconnect that. So we shut that app off. Shut that off. Let me turn off the Bluetooth there. Okay, so if we've now done that, now technically we should have the speed hack. So spin the back wheel again, hold the throttle. As you can see, we're still at 16 miles an hour. So that's two ways how to um, install your own firmware, but it doesn't support it at the minute. Another way is the Shio Flasher, which again, <laughs> you can't install your own firmware i created my own firmware tried to install it and it's telling me it's no longer available at this well not no longer available not available at this point and that's because we have the new firmware so i'm now going to show you the new firmware so we did a first ride and an unboxing video on this and the first one that we did was a 40 minutes ride and it turned out this is definitely the best scooter i've ever been on very, very comfortable, although it only does 16 miles an hour at the moment. It's still a very, very comfortable scooter to ride. So if we come over here now, we're on the Segway app, which you can download on your iPhone for free. <coughs> Press the scooter. There you go. Now we're connected. It shows me that I got 98% battery. So if we scroll down here, um and then as you can see i've done 24.7 miles so far on this scooter so if we go to more functions <coughs> scroll right to the bottom it says device info if we hit that as you can see there's a new firmware here today now the, when i did the first ride on this scooter the master control firmware was version 1.5.2 1 and today there is version 1.5.3 so i i did update it just because you know i'm only doing 16 miles an hour i can't do any faster now there is other ways how to do a speed hack on that and we are going to be able to talk about it here today so if i click on check for firmware update then click on check update it's not going to find anything because i've literally just installed that there you go okay so everything is up to date <clears throat> so the new firmware i'm going to be running which again, I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna see how it goes. Now, I know it's only gonna get me 16 miles an hour, but maybe the battery consumption and other things could be better. So we've got master control version 1.5.3. If you have this version or not anything, if you've got anything above 1.4.8, you cannot do the speed hack unless you do it one other way, which we're gonna talk about. The battery and there's the Bluetooth. There's all the latest updates on the scooter from, as I said, from the 3rd of January, 2024. Now, if we go into custom settings here of sport mode, it, as you can see there, it's only showing 16 miles an hour. Acceleration, which is how good your throttle is. I love it on max speed. It really does have a it really does want it although it only does 16 miles an hour it really does want to just shoot take off so <clears throat> there's only one other way that i can figure right now of today there will obviously in the future there will be other ways to do it but from this day at the moment um the only way that i can figure of how to do a speed hack on this with this firmware is to just basically purchase a whole new converter which will set you back I've looked online around about 70-ish pounds, but it's going to take about a month for me to, for it to turn up. That's from uh, Alibaba or AliExpress also. But the only thing is, yeah, I don't really fancy waiting a month, but I'm going to wait because I want to use this scooter as stock for the moment and see how we go with it. And um, 
maybe in a few more months time we'll be able to install our own firmware if not and then of course i will buy the new converter open it up put the new converter in and then when we put the new converter in the first thing we need to go to when we put the converter in let me just quickly show you because i set this up from the segway app itself which i if yeah if you've got below version 1.4.8 and then don't connect it to segway app straight away first thing you do is go onto the xiaomi dash go on to basic go to change scooter region custom serial key and then you put 01 at the end if you do that and then you go onto the segway so you look this is what i should have done when i very first started it up now press ok but it's not going to do it it says error changing serial as you can see there whereas if if you have below that version 1.4.8 if you have below that or you have that version it will change the serial key for you in my case i'm going to have to leave it a little bit if there's no solution i'll buy the new converter and then i'll come onto this app i go to change scooter region put 01 at the end after i've done that i will then go on to the segway app and then click for check for firmware update do the update and then we will be able to reach speeds of 22 miles an hour but as it stands i'm going to be honest it's a very very comfortable scooter i highly recommend it but if you want to do a speed hack as i said don't do the firmware update straight away unless your scooter turns up and it's below firm if it's above firmware 1.4.8 and then of course you might have to either buy a new converter like i'm going to at some point or just give it a little bit more time and eventually i will figure out a way how to speed hack this but i'm very very happy with it 10 inch wheels front and back suspension when i hit speed bumps and go up and down curbs it's very very smooth but anyway yeah no speed hack as of yet but don't worry i'm going to keep checking every day and the second there is a speed hack available i will let you guys know so that's a good reason to hit that subscribe button i hope you guys did enjoy this one if you've got any comments do leave it in the comment section below or if you found a way to speed hack this before i have and then let me know i'm interested to see <laughs> don't forget to smack that like button if you're able to share the content then please do check out our playlist of e-bikes and electric scooters we have not just the segway we have xiaomi scooters e-bikes and all different stuff there um yeah keep those notifications on so you don't miss out on the next one hope you guys did enjoy this one we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games this is the nine bot segway max g2 i am out